Neutron stars are remnants of the death of massive stars. Just a teaspoon of neutron star can weigh several billion tons. Neutron stars are the remnants of the core of massive stars that have reached the end of their life. The two endpoints of massive stars are black holes and neutron stars. Neutron stars are among the heaviest objects in the universe. According to NASA estimates, there are nearly one billion neutron stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Most of the neutron stars that have been discovered so far are young stars whose high-energy rays reach Earth due to their incredibly fast rotation. Older neutron stars are likely to be billions of years old and rotate at a slower rate. These stars are also cooler, but they hold many surprises. Neutron stars are the remnants of the cores of massive stars at the end of their lives. When a massive star explodes at the end of its life in an explosion known as a supernova, the core of the star can become a small, ultra-dense mass that has a mass almost equal to the mass of the Sun. These very heavy nuclei are called neutron stars and are among the strangest objects in the world. After black holes, Neutron stars are the heaviest elements in the world. Just one teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh more than four billion tons on Earth. The life of stars, regardless of size, is a balance between the inward pressure of gravity and the outward pressure caused by the photons produced during nuclear fusion. When the source of hydrogen fuel to convert to helium runs out, stars reach the end of their nuclear fuel life cycle. At this stage, the external energy stops and gravity disrupts the said balance and causes the core of the star to collapse in on itself. However, nuclear fusion continues in the star's outer shell, causing the outer layers to puff. These ejected outer layers around the collapsing core cool and, if the core is still heavy enough, initiate a new round of nuclear fusion. Except this time, Helium is converted into heavier elements like carbon. Even stars with a mass between 10 and 20 times the mass of the Sun reach a level of production of heavy elements that usually ends up with pure iron in the core. Even this heavy element is not dense enough to prevent massive cores from collapsing further. In this way, the gravitational pressure becomes so strong that the negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons that make up the iron nuclei in the stellar core, they collide and create a sea of uncharged or neutral neutrons. The collapse of large mass nuclei in a small body that has one or two times the mass of the Sun, but whose diameter reaches only 10 to 20 kilometers, can have surprising consequences. Suppose you compress the Sun to the size of a sphere that fits inside New York City with a width of 56 kilometers, but compressing a mass with a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers into a mass with a diameter of only 20 kilometers has a significant effect on the materials inside it. According to NASA estimates, a sugar cube made of neutron star material on Earth could weigh a billion tons. The weight of such a sugar cube is equivalent to 3,000 Empire State Buildings in the United States or the entire human race. Neutron stars are so dense that their escape velocity from gravity is half the speed of light. As a result, their very strong gravity means that if a marshmallow falls on the surface of one of these stars, upon hitting the surface, it will accelerate so much that it will release the energy equivalent to a thousand hydrogen bombs. Although marshmallows do not actually rain on neutron stars, in binary systems, neutron stars can strip gas from their companion star. When this gas falls on the surface of the neutron star at a speed equal to millions of kilometers per hour, it creates a powerful firework during which X-rays oscillate thousands of times per second. The density and gravity of neutron stars is not the only reason for their attractiveness and these stars have other attractive features. There are different types of neutron stars, the most famous of which are magnetars, pulses or pulses, and combinations of the two. When neutron stars are born, the conservation of angular momentum 
causes them to spin at very high speeds. To understand the reason for this phenomenon, you can consider the rotation of an ice skater. When the skater folds his arms inward, his spin speed increases. A similar phenomenon occurs as the diameter of a star's core shrinks during gravitational collapse. Thus, the young neutron star spins faster and faster until it can spin 60 times per second. The rotation speed of many neutron stars reaches eight times per second as they age. But the situation is different for neutron stars that steal stellar material from their binary partner. These materials carry angular momentum and therefore increase the speed of rotation of neutron stars. In this way, neutron stars are created with a rotation speed of 600 or 700 times per second. Among the 3,000 discovered neutron stars, most of them are pulses. These stars usually emit twin beams from their magnetic poles. These poles may not be exactly aligned with the neutron star's rotation axis. Therefore, as the neutron star rotates, the rays move in the sky just like the rays of a lighthouse. To an observer on Earth, it appears that the starlight turns on and off. PSR J1748-2446 AD, located in a globular star cluster 28,000 light years from Earth, is the fastest pulsar ever discovered. This neutron star spins at 716 cycles per second, or 716 hertz, which is faster than even the blades of a kitchen mixer. On the other hand, a magnetic star or magnetar is a neutron star with a strong magnetic field. The magnetar's magnetic field is not only thousands of times stronger than the magnetic field of ordinary neutron stars, rather, its strength can reach a thousand trillion times the Earth's magnetic field. This strong magnetic field can increase the surface temperature of magnetars to more than 10 million degrees Celsius. With all these record-breaking properties, imagine what would happen when two samples of the remnants of these turbulent stars were brought together. Neutron stars may exist in isolation and be recognized only by their surface temperature, or they may coexist with normal stars and gradually absorb material from them, or in some cases exist in binary systems with another neutron star. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, when two neutron stars revolve around each other, they create waves in space-time called gravitational waves. Just as material falling onto the surface of a neutron star imparts angular momentum to it, gravitational waves as they flow through neutron stars remove angular momentum from the system. The loss of angular momentum causes the neutron stars to approach each other and with this, emit gravitational waves with greater intensity and increase the rate of loss of angular momentum. Ultimately, this process leads to the collision or merger of neutron stars and the production of a larger neutron star. This explosive event is called a kilonova or supernova and can occur in just a few milliseconds after a billion years of stellar debris dancing around each other. Supernovae release energy equivalent to millions of times that of the Sun, releasing a powerful burst of space-bending gravitational waves as well as a short but powerful burst of gamma rays. These stellar explosions are responsible for the formation of heavier elements such as gold, silver and platinum. Depending on the size of the neutron stars involved in the supernova event, the result can be a supermassive neutron star that is too massive, due to neutron decay pressure, to remain stable. As a result, it quickly collapses in less than a second and gives birth to a black hole. Theoretically, a neutron star can live forever because the final stage of a star's life is a massive star, or in other words, the corpse of a star. However, if the neutron star has a companion in a binary system, such as another neutron star or black hole, it will eventually merge with it, and the end product will be a heavier black hole or neutron star. 
Neutron stars are the remnants of the death of massive stars in a supernova explosion. After black holes, these stars are the heaviest objects in the universe, so that a teaspoon of neutron star can weigh four billion tons on Earth. On the other hand, these stars behave strangely due to their high compressibility. If a light and small object collides with them, the energy released will be equal to a thousand hydrogen bombs. There are still many mysteries about neutron stars that scientists are trying to figure out.